is a beautiful day here in Colorado. The sun has been out, but it hasn't been extremely hot and it has been raining a lot, which is good for us. We need the rain in the summer, especially. And so today, <coughs> excuse me, today we didn't have rain, but it's just gorgeous. It's so green, so pretty. And, you know, I think to be grateful to God for where we are, I am grateful to God that I live in Colorado. But I was grateful to God when I lived in Texas. <laughs> and I was grateful to God when I lived in Pennsylvania. So thanking God and being, you know, grateful for what you have and not griping for what you don't have is very important. So I think the key to this, well, I don't think it, I know it. You say you're, you think you're a smart aleck because you're old. I guess I do. I think experience and the Bible and a lot of things help us to give us wisdom in the time that we're in. So I want to use these days in wisdom. Absolutely. I want to walk in faith and I, have these little shoes. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see them? These little shoes that I think that's the way we start. We start walking in faith. We get born again and we believe Jesus died for our sins and arose from the dead. We repent, invite him into our hearts. He comes into our hearts and we begin to live a faith life then I would say we walk little steps of faith, but maybe they seem big to us. I know that I spoke when I was a valedictorian in seventh grade, and oh, that was a big deal for me. And I was born again, you know. Uh, I Now wait, I was not born again then. I was on the way, I was in the process. God was dealing with me. I was reading my Bible because I didn't really get born again until I was 16. But I was in a process of the Holy Spirit drawing me. So maybe I could hold these up and say, you know, we start with a little walk of faith. And sometimes it seems very big for us, but we start it. And I'm so glad for starting it and starting to read the Bible and starting to process God and what he had for me and getting born again. But then when you get born again, he expects bigger steps of faith. And so, you know, as we walk in faith, we grow in faith. So I can remember when I started believing just to sell apples and just to buy clothes because my father thought I should buy my own clothes by the time I was 11 and 12 and selling apples on an apple farm. So I didn't have big, what would have been big, big faith. But for me at that time, I was in the process of faith. So I look at these and I had to walk, I had to learn to walk in faith. And one of the things in those processes was that I got around people of faith. And I remember Frida Lindsay said to me, what you need to do is pray for nations. Well, how would I do that? She said, well, you need to get a map and you need to memorize the nations and you need to start praying. So I did, I got a map and I began to memorize the nations by continent. Now those, that was a big step for me, frankly, at that time. But I was beginning to walk in what God had for me, bigger steps of faith. Now, did I ever dream I would go to those nations? No. Now these shoes are heavy, whereas those others were light. When you start, it can seem pretty light, but let me tell you, God is so wonderful. He takes you from faith to faith and strength to strength. 
now I have been in those nations and had opportunity to preach all over the world. And if you can imagine, the Muslims like old women. So I'm wanting to go back and to go over there and have healing meetings. And you say, well, you're too old. Well, they don't think I am. And I don't think God thinks I'm too old. As long as I have faith, oh, he really honors it. So learning to walk in faith. The process is I began to read the Bible. And I received Jesus into my heart. And then I became a spirit-filled believer. Yes, I pray in tongues every day, every day. And I began to get around faith people. Now, you don't want to stay around whiny people unless you're really ministering to them. But they can tear you down. So I have been in the process of being around faith people, reading things that are faith books, things that provoke me. And you say, well, you're kind of old to be provoked. Well, I don't think God thinks that. As long as I have breath, I want him to provoke me with faith. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to put on your faith shoes. And, you know, we have lots of material you can get on our website that will help your faith. And I would love for you to order some of my faith books and get into that process of faith in you. And what does God say? Faith works by love. And so we begin to experience his love in our faith. And sometimes I wake up in the morning, I am so overwhelmed with his love. And I begin to speak his promises. I begin to speak to mountains. I pray for our nation, for other nations. And I begin to believe for what's on the other side of the mountain. And I want you to walk in faith. And you say, well, I've been kind of discouraged. I've been kind of down. Well, you're going to repent because we're going to pray in this time together. And we're going to repent of being down. And we're going to take just the precious promise of God that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That we are more than conquerors. And that we don't have to be depressed by our circumstances, by our health, by anything. We can speak to the mountain and get what's on the other side. So I am just really encouraged that you're watching me and you stuck with me because you could have said, oh, I don't want to hear that old stuff again out of her, but you stayed with me. <laughs> so that just delights me no end. So I want to pray with you about this. And again, I would love for you to get in touch with us for some of our faith materials. But right now, let's pray. Are you ready? I'm gonna pray for you. Father, I thank you that we have such glorious opportunities to reach people on this day all around the world. And so I just thank you that you are touching people's hearts and lives, giving them a hunger to read the word giving them a hunger to speak the word, giving them a hunger to live the word. And Father, I pray that our children, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren if we live that long, will be people of the word. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want you to say that. Say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen.